Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi Terrell and on today's video we're gonna do 21 things I learned at 21. So obviously I am 21. Um, I turned 21 six months ago and in these past six months I've literally learned, well not even just these past six months, in my past 21 years of being on this earth I have come to learn a lot. You know I like to think I'm very wise beyond my years. Um, I've always been told that I have an old soul, that I'm very mature for my age and I I've always been very very mature for my age and I've learned a lot and I've overcome a lot of battles and hardships and I there were a lot of hard pills that I had to swallow and I'm sure that a lot of you who are also my age or around my age can also relate so without further ado let's get on to the video number one trust your intuition always we all have that little tiny voice at the bottom of our stomach or in the back of our head that is constantly telling us something is not right or maybe something's a little off but you know as women at least we have a tendency to kind of ignore those signs and um, make excuses for people or for situations uh, that usually turn out to be exactly what that little voice told us what it was. So this is me telling you right now, trust your intuition always. There's a reason why we have our intuition. It's our subconscious telling us that something is not right. And as you grow and get older, you will learn to trust in that part of yourself a lot more. Number two, not everyone is your friend and honey, not everyone is gonna like you. That's just that on that there's nothing else to say about it not everybody is for everybody you're gonna come into people that are not gonna like you for no entire reason at all and you know if you are someone who kind of strives to be liked by everyone and wants to feel validation from external sources and from other people this is a hard pill that you're gonna have to swallow because it's just human nature not everyone is gonna get along and that's okay there's nothing you could do about it but continue to be you and continue to shine because honey you are a star and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Someone else's opinion of you does not validate or dictate who you are as a person. If you like you, that's all that matters. Number three, it's okay not to have it all figured out. I am only 21 years old and for years I've always felt like I need to have this by this age. I need to accomplish this by this time. I need to, all of these different things I feel like I'm behind on in life when in reality you are right on track. You are are right where you are supposed to be in life and your path is your path no one else can change that no one else can throw you off and even if it feels like you don't have it all figured out right now it's okay you have so much life to live and so much time to be successful and just to come into who you truly are meant to be number four your family doesn't always know what's best for you. Now this might be an unpopular opinion, but again, this is what I've learned in my 21 years. Let's ignore these fingernails too. Don't get me wrong, I love my family, I respect their opinion, I value their input, but at the end of the day, when it comes to my life, it is my decision to make ultimately. And sometimes your family can have a certain vision for your life that doesn't necessarily fit into the vision of your life that you have for yourself, and that's okay. Don't try and argue about it with them don't try and get them to see your side sometimes you just have to say listen mom I love you I respect your opinion I value your input but I got this this is my life and let me live it how I live it okay Mwah. <laughs> number five you are not going to get anywhere if you don't put the effort in this also was a heart pill for me to swallow because I am very much someone who likes to have things handed to me on a silver platter I've grown up being very very spoiled um yes I've grown up being very very spoiled and that's kind of crippled me in some type of way because don't get me wrong though when it comes down to it I'm a hard worker but I'm also a very very lazy person I I am a, a proactive lazy person. I set myself up to, I don't know. I'm a proactive lazy person, that's how it is. But a lot of times I'll just kind of half-ass things and wonder why I'm not getting the result that I want. Like for example, going to the gym and being healthy. Like if I want to lose weight, let's say that. I'll go to the gym and I'll work out but I will not change my diet. And then months will go by and I'm in the gym every single day and I'm getting frustrated with myself for not seeing the results that I want. But it's because I'm not putting in that full effort. I'm not completely committing myself to the task at hand and that's why I'm not seeing those results. So just like in the gym, 
It's the same way with anything else in life. Unless you really apply yourself and give anything that you do that you wanna achieve your full, honest effort, you're not gonna get anywhere. Number six, everything happens for a reason. If it was meant to happen another way, baby, it would've. Let me tell you that right now. Whatever you believe in, God, the universe, anything, nothing is a coincidence. All of the little actions that you've taken, all of the situations and events that have occurred in your life have led up to this moment where you are right now. And you would not be the person that you are right now if those things never happened. So it's very easy to get caught up in the what ifs. And I know I'm very guilty of this too, but sometimes you really have to sit back, breathe, and think if it would've happened another way, if it could've happened another way, it would've. Every single thing in my life has not happened to me, it has happened for me. And I would not be the person that I am today had those events not occurred, good or bad. And that leads me into my seventh lesson, which is the greatest heartbreaks and failures in life usually lead to the biggest periods of growth. Now, what I mean by this is, um, think of a time where you were just truly genuinely heartbroken or maybe you feel like you failed at something or I don't know just something something bad in your life has occurred and you feel like oh it's the end of the world like oh my gosh how could this happen to me now think about what happened after that usually at least in my experience from speaking from my life's experiences usually that pushes you into a period of growth. You cannot grow if all things stay the same. It usually takes these heartbreaks or takes these failures to really push you and jumpstart you into making a change and to figuring out how to better your life and um, pushing you into a situation that you most likely will be uncomfortable with at the start, but you will soon learn and come to terms with the fact of, hey, this is actually benefiting me in the long run because now I am able to do X, Y, and Z differently or I learned from this mistake, I've learned from this failure, I've learned from this heartbreak and I am gonna do by any means necessary to never let that happen to me again and I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm wiser. Boom. Um, two years ago, I went through my first real heartbreak and it really fucking sucked, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's been a journey, it's been a process. It, it's definitely changed me in a lot of different ways and honestly, even though that that might have been one of the most tragic and worst things that I had to deal with, if had that never happened to me, had I never gotten my heart broken by this guy, I would have never pushed myself to start my own business where I sell and promote vegan luxury hair care and skincare. After this heartbreak, I threw myself into this new opportunity that came to me and I, I just became super obsessed with self-help and personal development. I wanted to do whatever I could to stop the pain in my heart. And because of that, I found a community of people that I could lean on and that I can learn from and I, looked within myself and I turned to meditation, I turned to journaling, I turned to spirituality, I did whatever I could to not be in that heartbroken presence anymore, if that makes sense. So if you are currently going through something that you feel like you're failing at or if you're currently going through a heartbreak, trust me, the door is only opening for something greater and a new period of growth to come in your life. Number eight, you won't please everyone. This is the same as my other tip where not everyone's gonna like you. This one is similar but still different. You're not gonna please everyone. Sometimes you'll feel like that you're doing everything in the world and it just seems like that this person or these people, this group of people, whoever, is just not satisfied. What do I have to say to that? Fuck them. Oh well. If you are doing the best that you can, that's really all that you can do. And if someone doesn't like that, if someone can't appreciate that, well then that's their problem. Number nine, you're not always right. There's always another side of the story. This is something um, that I have personally also have struggled with um, is coming to terms with the fact that if I feel strongly on something, say I'm in an argument with someone or some type of disagreement, if I feel strongly about something and I truly feel like that I am right and this person is just not seeing my side and it seems like that they're just not getting it, it just seems like there, there's just a disconnect somewhere. Sometimes I have to step back and I have to reevaluate 
my thoughts and my feelings and my opinions and I have to really think, okay, what is this person trying to convey? Why am I really so hard-headed about a certain thing? And it could be something that's really like not even that big of a deal, but I will be so headstrong on it that it just, the whole friendship or the whole relationship could go the waste. For what? This is something that if I just look deeper and if I truly try to understand the other side uh, and the other perspective where they are coming from, maybe I can think, figure out, okay, I understand how you can be upset. I understand how I could have been wrong. I understand how you could have misinterpreted what I said. And acknowledging that you're not always right really opens the gates for a whole nother level of maturity and a whole new mindset of openness and um, acceptance. Number 10, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, taking care of your mental health is a necessity. Mental health is so real, guys, and in all aspects of what is you, it is so important to take care of yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. You cannot expect to just give and give and give and be that knight in shining armor for someone else when you yourself are struggling. So whether that be taking a day to yourself, taking a weekend, taking just like some, carving out a time in your schedule setting that aside to be like okay no one bother me i'm putting my phone on do not disturb putting it in another room i might even turn it off dare i say i'm gonna take this time to focus on me focus on myself focus on my mentality pour into my cup and then i can be the best me for you take care of yourself guys trust me number 11 there will always be better out there for you this is a fact this is a fact there will always be better out there for you whether that's relationships friendships job opportunities there's always better out there for you so it's usually that thing when one door closes another door opens that's absolutely true sometimes we get so caught up and hung on the fact of something is coming to an end that we completely disassociate completely just feel like that it's the end of the world that you know I can't believe this is happening but in reality we shouldn't worry about things like that because again whatever you believe in higher power God universe trust that they have you trust that they have you have it all in control trust that they have a plan for you trust that they have a path for you trust yourself trust in yourself that you will find better for yourself there's always going to be better and each different scenario is just a stepping stone and it just it's only up from here it's only up from here baby number 12 learn how to be disciplined now this is something that i'm not gonna lie i still struggle with too I am not that great at being disciplined. Um, I am working on it every day. Um, I try my hardest to be as disciplined as I can, but I'm not gonna lie, I can do better. So, like, I, again, this is, I said, this is stuff I'm still learning. This is stuff that I have learned and am still learning. But this is something that you need to hear and this is something that I need to hear too. Discipline is key. If you want to get anywhere in life, you need discipline. If you want to be a YouTuber, it takes discipline. Last Friday, I didn't upload a video because I, I, I felt like I failed myself at that. But you know, I said, you know, it's okay. Took a deep breath, there's next week. There's a week after that. I'm gonna continue uh, on uploading on Friday. Like today, I did not feel like making this video. If I'm being completely honest, like I was comfortable watching my girls next door, on my couch, like no makeup, hair not, hair still wrapped up in scarf. Like it's 2 p.m. I'm like, dang, it's Friday. I don't even got nothing to film. I need to edit. Girl, I'm about to go see a show with my parents. Like, but you know what? I'm still getting this done because I am teaching myself self-discipline and this is something that I want this is something that I care about this is something that I'm passionate about and therefore I need to learn to be disciplined with consistently uploading that's just an example that goes for anything in your life discipline is key oh girl it's hot okay okay number 13 this next tip um i've actually been reading the book atomic habits by james clear and this is something that i got from there 
I believe the quote is you don't you don't rise to the level of your goals you fall to the level of your systems I'm not sure if that's the exact quote but basically what it's saying is uh, you know we set goals all the time we set goals to achieve goals uh, we want to strive towards something it's like our goals are up here and we're up here and we're striving to get this and that's why it's so hard to sometimes achieve our goals or maybe if we achieve our goals we kind of like fall off the wagon because it's like okay well now I've achieved that okay I'm done no we're not done we have to also maintain that so instead of rising to the level of your goals you fall to the level of your systems so instead of trying to change things for a shorter amount of time and just achieve this one thing for this uh, short-term satisfaction create systems for yourself that are setting you up so that you cannot fail so that you cannot um, stray away from your goals so for example if my goal is to um, just become an overall healthy person you know to just change my diet start going to the gym or stuff like that well my goal would be to work out lose weight yada 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 right that seems pretty scary that's like oh now I have to go to the gym all the time and I have to do this now I have to gym. no I what I would do to make it easier for myself is I would create a system that's easy for me to follow so that it just becomes my lifestyle it just becomes my norm so when I go to the grocery store I'll buy foods that are healthy and um beneficial for me you know I will fit the gym into my schedule more you know I, I would create a system that I can maintain over a long period of time so you don't rise to the level of your goals you fall to the level of your systems James Clear from Atomic Habits that's a great fucking book also by the way side note I highly suggest you read it number 14 is learn to love yourself and your body in its rawest form. You need to get to a point where you absolutely love the person that you see. No matter if you have rolls, bumps, flaps, grabs, whatever the hell, handles, little, like everybody has that. This whole um, social stereotype of, or not stereotype, this like body, body goals that we see in our media that is so like publicized now in this day and age that's not the, the beauty standard the beauty standard from this day and age that's not what we should strive for your body how it is right now in its rawest most natural form is beautiful I'm telling you that right now it's beautiful it's gorgeous and it's going to be hard if you're someone who does not truly love yourself that way it's going to be hard it's going to be a process it's going to be a journey to truly seek that but you have to try you cannot sit here bash yourself be like oh i wish that this looked this way i wish that this looked that way well it's not it's not and unless it's something that you can fix in the snap of a finger well you just need to learn to live with it because what's the point in going about your life hating yourself hating parts of yourself hating your body over, over something that you can't change instead change the narrative in your mind learn to love that part of you because i promise you like you are your worst critic and everyone else around you sees someone who's absolutely amazingly beautiful why can't you see that girl learn to see that i'm telling you i'm telling you number 15 is it's okay not to be okay i feel like that maybe this is just me but i also know that it's not just me i'm sure that there's a lot of you out there that also feels this way but right now i'm at the age where it's like everything is fine but everything also could be better but it's also like i'm not that okay but it's like i'm still okay it's like i'm in this weird middle limbo sorry if the sun keeps changing if the lighting keeps changing the sun is like going behind clouds or whatever but anyway i'm like in this weird middle limbo that's kind of weird kind of awkward but realizing that you're in the mood or you're having this period of just feeling down and you can't really pinpoint why it's okay it's natural it's human and you're not always going to be okay you're not always going to be a hundred percent and that's fine just acknowledge these feelings when they arise and you know just th think of ways that can cheer you up whether that's watching your favorite tv show or your favorite movie going um to the store and 
uh, getting some ice cream. I don't know, just anything that you like to do, anything that will cheer you up, try and do that. But also just know, like, it's okay not to be okay all the time. And that's just how life is. And you know, we're at the age, it's like we're growing, we're, it's, we're not kids anymore, but we don't feel like full adults yet. And uh, we have more responsibilities than we used to, but not as much as we do yet. Like I don't have a full set career and I'm kind of scared about like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with my life? Like, you know, there, there's a lot of things going through a young 21 year old's mind or someone around my age is mine. It's okay. And like I said before, you don't have to have it all figured out. It's okay. Number 16, prioritize yourself. Like I said before, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Set time aside to get your mind right, get your mental back on track, and put yourself before other people. Usually, whenever we like to put other people before ourselves, we end up feeling drained. We end up feeling um, like we've lost something or like something was taken from us. But you need to remember to always put yourself first and in situations where it's like, if you need to pull yourself out of a situation, even if it might hurt to pull yourself from this situation, but you know that's gonna help you and benefit you in the long run, do whatever means necessary to make sure that you are good, period. Number 17, manifestation is real and it works. When I tell y'all I manifested a car, y'all, a car. I'm not talking about no um, Range Rover, no like nice like foreign sports car, no. It's a 2013 Kia Optima sitting right outside of my apartment. A regular, degular, little, cute, dusty little car. But I manifested that. When I tell you, I literally, every single day, I journaled, I did everything in my power to attract this car into my life with absolutely no money, zero money at all. Didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I just set the intention and I released it into the universe. I gave it to God and you know what? It certainly delivered and now I got me my nice little Kia and her name is Tink. She goes a little tink tink when you beat the horn. I love it so much. Manifestation is so real and I've manifested a ton of other things too. If you guys want a video on that, I'll certainly make one. I love it. I love manifestation. I love spirituality. I love all things like surrounding law of attraction. So I'll definitely make a video on that if you guys are interested. But yeah, manifestation is real. Definitely do your research and look into it and just give it a try. Like it doesn't hurt to try. We are constantly manifesting even when you don't know. Um, the law of attraction is as real and as certain as the law of gravity. Even when you don't know that it's working, it's constantly working for or against you. Learn to make it work for you. I suggest that, honey. Number 18, situations and circumstances change. I know that we like to clutch on to certain things for so long, we don't want it to go, we want it to stay within our grasp forever, but you have to come to terms that the only thing that is certain is change. Nothing lasts forever, no matter how much you want it to. I know it sucks. It's really such a bittersweet thing, but it's the truth, and I'm here to give y'all the truth. Nothing lasts forever, but it doesn't have to have such a negative connotation. Again, when one door closes, another door opens. We get so caught up on the sadness of one thing ending, but we need to switch that paradigm in our mind from it being sad to something's ending to being like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, this is sad that this just ended, but it's okay because this just means that a new door is opening for me. And you know, it's really beautiful whenever you come to terms with that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, I still have my issues with this too, but just knowing that everything will be okay will put your soul at ease. Number 19, not everything needs a reaction. When they say choose your battles, girl, they mean choose your battles. Literally, you do not have to react to every little thing that happens to you, that happens around you, that people say to you, because all that does, it takes away from your power. Like in the words of Miss Michelle Obama herself, when they go low, you go high, okay? You don't have to react to everything. You don't have to let everybody see that you're sweating. You don't have to let everybody see your tears. You boss up, you get what you need to get together, 
and you move on. And if it's something that really needs your response, then you respond. You think about how you're going to respond, then you respond in a way that does not take away your power, your dignity, or your credibility. Okay. Number 20, you're not too old to start. This is something that I feel like I'm speaking to not only just the masses, but me personally. Um, sometimes I think, oh, uh, for example, like my YouTube channel, you know, I stopped for a little while. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just getting older. Like, it's too late. Like, who's still making YouTube channels, like, for the first time in 2022? You know, like, it's just not gonna happen for me. But that's completely wrong. Like, my channel, my audience like you guys are growing every day and as long as you are working towards something that you believe in and that you're passionate about and that you want to do you're going to find the success literally statistically speaking if you continue to work towards something every day and or be constant with it and be consistent and just putting your effort into something eventually you will achieve that goal that you are trying to achieve you just need to be consistent you're not too old to start it's not too late in life you start whatever time that you want whether you're 21 whether you're 17 whether you're 15 whether you're 55 bitch it don't matter how old you are how long you're, you've lived, what type of life you lived, what you've experienced, what kind of background you came from, anything in the book, just start. That's the most important thing, just start. And it was 11-11 on the thing when I said that, so now you know, that's real. And last but not least, the final lesson that I learned in all of my 21 years is be strict with your boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Baby boo, we hear about boundaries all the time and this could be one of the biggest things that hurts our own egos and our own self-esteem is that we are not upholding our boundaries. We put, it is not up to other people to uphold our boundaries. It is up to us to uphold our boundaries. So if there's something that bothers you, there's something that you will not accept in your life, figure out what that is, set that boundary, let other people know what your boundary is and it's up to you to enforce that boundary. Once you set that boundary, of course there's gonna be people that push your boundaries. Of course there's gonna be people that try to disregard your boundaries because people don't like change. People don't like when you um tell them all of a sudden like, oh hey, I don't like when you do this or oh hey, I don't like this thing or something that you, something that you wanna change. People don't like, people don't like being told no, basically. So they are going to continue to fall into old patterns even after you've expressed your boundaries and your dislikes. They're, they are going to continue to test you and to push you and it might not be intentional, it's just you know, force of habit. They're so used to doing things one way for so long but it's not up to them to catch themselves in the act and be like, oh I'm sorry, I'm crossing your boundary. They're not going to do that. When have you ever heard someone do that? No, it's up to you to be like, I don't like this. I told you I don't like this. You're still doing it. You need to stop. And if you can't stop, I'm taking me and my services and my energy elsewhere. Period. That's just that on that. That is it for this video. I hope that you enjoy. If you did, please give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other kind of videos you want to see me do next. Turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified for whenever I post. Again, my name is Naomi Terrell. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, join the family. We're trying to get to 800. We're so, so close. We're so, so, so close. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.